2012 Heavyweight Keystone Classic Champion. Adam, why don't you talk about that? Pretty good tournament. All Division One schools there, and you came away as a champion. Yeah, all, all Division One schools. It was an invitational, the, the first time that IU wrestled in it um, as a team. And uh, to go there and get um, Division One schools all the way around, that was, uh, that was something amazing to, uh, to, to go there and compete in it. Um, uh, in, in one of these beginning tournaments, as as, uh, as, as the year started off, but um, it was going to be tough. I knew the Northwestern heavyweight was going to be there. He's uh, was ranked fifth in the nation, and uh, I walked in there. I think ranked tenth or so, but um, ended up seeing him him there in the finals, and uh, it was a battle. Uh, went back and forth. Um, he, he he would shoot, then I'd shoot, and. It was, it was tough to get a takedown on him, but uh, in the end, I was able to score a couple takedowns and uh, bring home the win. Yeah, I believe you came away with a 5-3 to three de decision over McMullen. You mentioned he was ranked high. Well, you're up to the 7th now in the national rankings, obviously a big reason because of getting the win over McMullen. Yeah, rankings this early in the season don't really matter, but it's got to be cool for the, you know, the national publications just to recognize what you're doing. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's definitely cool, especially coming in last year when – you know, I wasn't even ranked at all coming in, and it was kind of pleasing to uh, there towards the end of the year. I think I was able to make the top 20 and 20th or 19th or whatever it was, and uh, that was exciting. But still, there were a lot of guys ahead of me, and uh, it was kind of uh, discouraging, you know, just looking up there and seeing all these guys who were on paper better than me. And uh, to know that I'm up there towards the top this year, ranked seventh, um, that's great. And I'm... Um, Happy for it, but then again, um, being ranked seventh, there's still six guys out there ahead of me, and that's still something that I'm going to lose sleep over at night. And that quest for a national championship continues tomorrow. You've got a busy day for Hoosier wrestling. Three teams coming in, Bucknell, Gardner-Webb, and SIUE for the Hoosier duels. Talk about what you expect tomorrow to see in the team competition. Uh, hopefully, as, as a team standpoint, you know, we're, we're going to pull together as a team and uh, come out with three good, solid wins. And uh, I, I think that... Uh, we, we can definitely do it. Uh, the team's definitely worked hard, hard this week. Uh, we've uh, changed up practices a little bit, and the coaches feel that, um, that, that that's going to be best for the team, and I'm, I'm, I'm right there with the coaches on that. Um, they, they push us hard, and I think from, from a team uh, standpoint, we're, uh, we're going to do great. And Adam, you talked about coming in midseason last year, coming from the JUCO ranks. You're going to get to wrestle in your first Midlands this year, Big Ten competition. I mean, all kinds of the best conferences in the country come to the Midlands. It's one of the biggest events in college wrestling each year. Talk about the excitement. It's at the end of the month here, at the end of December, going to it's, Chicago. It's, it's, it's definitely exciting. Um, I mean, everybody knows what the Midlands is. And it's, it's I mean, the, like you said, the, the biggest wrestling tournament um, in the nation. So uh, I actually... Did have a chance to uh, maybe go to uh, up there at Harper. The coach asked me if I wanted to, and uh, I was kind of scared. I, I, I knew that those guys were good, and I didn't really want to go up there and get beat. But, uh, you know, this year I, I, I have the chance again, and uh, definitely not scared, and hopefully I can go, you know, make some noise in it.